Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to be doing the LR Vegino team building guide. So uh, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first off, it is the, we're going to start off with the SSR. We're going to go over everything about the card, how to Doken Waking them and everything. So if you're just looking for the team building, um, go ahead and jump up about five more minutes, maybe seven more minutes uh, to get to the actual team building guide. So uh, Eternal Rivalry, rivalry <laughs> Goku and Vegeta, Leader Ability, Intelligence Type, Key plus 2, HP Attack and Defense plus 70%. Uh, super Attack, Kamehameha, and Big Bang Attack, Immense Damage to the Enemy, Passive Skill, 2 Saiyans, Attack and Defense plus 80% at the start of the turn, Key plus 1 in addition, uh, Key plus 1 per Rainbow Key Orb obtained, so that's 2 Key for every Rainbow Orb obtained. Link Skills are Kamehameha, Saiyan Warrior Ace, the Saiyan Lineage, Experienced Fighters, and Prepared for Battle, and they're part of the Majin Buu Saga category. Uh, back stats are going to be HP of 9770, Attack of 8789, and Defense of 4879, with 14012 Key Multiplier. Uh, they're going to Doken Awaken with 35 Metal from the Super Vegito event. Gonna get that over here, the ultimate pair, present world. It is a mono intelligence event, so all you need to do is bring a physical team. It looks like if you bring a Kid Buu, you'll be fine. Um, so you bring any of the Kid Boos. The intelligence Kid Buu will probably be your best bet. I would bring either a mono, well, if you want to go with Kid Buu, bring a, an extreme team if you have the, if you have, um, uh, the, the Rose, Strength Rose. If not, just bring any type of mono physical team. You should be fine. Um, he Doken, he Doken Awakens, he Doken Awakens into Golden Pair, Super Saiyan Goku, and Super Saiyan Vegeta. Leader Ability, Intelligence Type Key, plus 3 HP Attack and Defense, plus 80%. Does immense damage to the enemy with Kamehameha and Big Bang Attack. Um, passive Skill, 2 Super Warriors, Attack and Defense, plus 100% at the start of the turn. Key, plus 2 in addition to, uh, per Rainbow Orb obtained, so that's a total of 3 Key per Rainbow Orb obtained. Link Skills are Kamehameha, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Lineage Experience, Fighters Prepared for Battle, and Fierce Battle. They are still only part of the Majibu Saga category. Max stats are going to be HP of 12,630, attack of 10,466, and defense of 6228, with a 12 key multiplier of 150%. Um, their next Doken Awakening is going to require 35 more of those Super Vegito medals and 35 of the Super Vegito medals from the Blazing Patara event. You're going to need to go into that and actually grab them from there. As you can see, let's see, which one were they again? I think it was, yeah, so it's from the new uh, Vegito event, not the old one. So you're going to need to go to level 3 and run level 3 on Super 2 in order to get them in order to Doken. You can do it on level 1, but do it on level 3 in order for or on Super 2 so you can get it. Um, once you get them, then he's going to finally Doken Waken into Fused Super Saiyan or Fused Super Power, Super Saiyan Goku and Super Saiyan Vegeta. Leader ability is going to be a Potara category. Key plus 3 HP and attack plus 170%, defense plus 130%, or intelligence types key plus 3 HP, attack and defense plus 90%. And oh my god, that is so awesome. That means um, you can run Patara category and you could run like you could run LR Gohan, you could run Ultra Instant Goku, Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, um, any of those mono intelligence units that are just so phenomenal that you love, you could put them on the team. It's such an OP team. Uh, Super attack is Kamehameha and Big Bang attack from 12 to 17 key for colossal damage. 18 plus key is final strategy. Raises attack for one turn and causes mega colossal damage to the enemy. Passive skill, strongest duo. Attack and defense was 120% at the start of the turn. Key plus two in addition per key rainbow key of team, so that's three key per rainbow. Um, perform Patara f uh, fusion when conditions are met. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Link skills are... Kamehameha, Super Saiyan, uh, Saiyan Lineage, Experienced Fighters, Prepared for Battle, Fierce Battle, and Legendary Power, so he gains Legendary Power from his last token. He's also now part of the Patara category as well as the Majin Buu Saga, um, obviously since he's the leader. Max stats are going to be HP of 19,663, Attack of 13,490, and Defense of 10,931. Patara Fusion activates when HP is below 50% once you hit the 6th turn from the start of the battle. So again, like I said in my last video, if you were looking at the Gogeta, um, the Gogeta building guide that I I did it's it's a pain in the butt because you have to wait so long before you could even get the attempt to do that and your hp needs to meet the requirements of 50 percent or below so uh princess snake is really good for that because she'll only recover 50 percent of your hp or 55 percent of your hp and she'll do damage reduction so she'll you don't have to recover a lot and you won't get a lot of damage taken it will try to help you there once you get to your sixth turn if you want to transform Goku and Vegeta's key plus three for every key orb obtained uh gain key plus three for every key orb obtained oh, okay yeah key total plus three uh, maximum super attack level 20, which is 30% buff. Raises attack for one turn is 30% buff. 12 key multipliers 150%, 24 key multipliers 200%. When he transforms, he is awesome. Um, he goes, he gets the big bang attack from 12 to 17 key. Final Kamehameha from 18 plus. Raises attack of allies by 30% for one turn. Um, Patara Miracle is his new passive skill. Fully recovers HP only once. It counters with tremendous power upon receiving normal attacks. Attack and defense plus 150% at the start of the turn. Phenomenal. Key plus 3 in, uh, per rainbow key orb obtained, which means 4 key total. Uh, link skills are Kamehameha, Super Saiyan, Power Bestowed by God, Fused Fighter, 
uh, prepare for battle, fierce battle, and legendary power. Awesome, awesome link skills. Um, his max stats are HP of 19,000. Oh, it's all the same actual. Um, and acquired when HP is 50% or below, starting from the sixth turn at the start of the turn. Transformation to Super Vegito is unlike the giant mode in Rage mode, so it does not go away. Tremendous power multipliers 300%. Super Vegito's Ultra Super Attack gives plus 30%. Uh, to follow counter attack so if he launches a super attack and then you do a counter after that you get the 30 percent buff counter attacks can be criticals super vegeta retains hidden potential boosts and he gains four key per every rainbow key orb obtained he is a very very good unit um he does when ca when counting counters and <laughs> when counting counters he does more damage than the lr gogeta from what i read I, again i don't have any proof of this uh, but what i read it takes him at least two counters per turn to out damage the gogeta so i think they're both very good units but then again i mean when you're going up against token events chances are you're going to be countering like four or five times in one shot so he's definitely going to be doing a lot, a lot of damage. Uh, very awesome unit. Again, he has a lot of other intelligence units that are going to be so phenomenal to run alongside of him. Um, let's see. For his best linking buddies in game, LR Gohan is going to be one of his better linking buddies. I think his best one is obviously going to be the physical LR Goku and Vegeta Angels. Um, they, ha they have everything linked together, so that's what? Uh, 10, 20%, 35% total uh, attack buffs, 2,500 flat-up buff, and 2 key, and another 5,000, so 7,500 flat-up buff. Awesome links. The next one is going to be the Intelligence LR Gohan, which is actually really freaking awesome because, you know, attack buff for 90% for these guys uh, that are not Patara category. Um, let's see. You had Super Saiyan Fierce Battle for 25% flat-up buff of 7,500 and 2 key, which is really awesome. Um... You have the Super Saiyan Blue Goku with the strength one that no one really uses. Uh, he's still, he's not bad, he just no one uses him. Uh, Super Saiyan Saiyan Lineage, so he does what, um, 25% 3 key and 2500 flat out buff to him. And LR Broly, which is awesome as well. So many damn LRs up on this team. Imagine just running a full team with all these LRs, uh, with the LR freaking, um, Goku. Holy crap. <laughs> for the HP attack and defense with 100%. Uh, they link together for, what is that, 25% attack buff, 5000 for legendary power, and 3 key. Awesome link buddies. Um, I think he, like, this guy's the only one who's not, like, phenomenal, but he has some very good linking buddies. Unfortunately, they're, they're summonable LRs. So, it's like, oh my gosh. Uh, anyway, for Mono Intelligence Team, we already talked about the LR Gohan. You have the 120 lead Gogeta, who is going to be a really good linking buddy for him. Which is awesome for his team as well, like I talked about. The HP attack and defense for just ma just uh, flat out uh, Mono Intelligence. He has, what is that, 35% attack buff and 2 key with Gogeta. The Super Saiyan 3 Bardock is 20, 35% and 2 key as well. And you have the free-to-play Trunks, the TUR, for uh, 25% and 3 key. Very awesome unit, has a very good linking buddies, very relevant linking buddies. Um, in terms of a Patara category linking buddies, um, you see the Vegito Blues up here. The best one he has for Patara category is the physical um, Vegito Blue, which is Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle for 25%, um, Kamehameha for flat out, and Prepare for Battle for two. I think this one he drops Prepared for Battle, and this one drops, uh, this one has Prepared for Battle. So the, the Technique one drops Prepared for Battle, which kind of sucks, but he still keeps uh, Super Saiyan, Fierce Battle, Kamehameha. Um, and then the Strength one um, has that doesn't have the Kamehameha. So these three are going to be interchangeable. You need to run one of these guys. Um, you For the for everything, you can go here. It doesn't, you don't really need the Kamehameha. So um, for the key, it's going to be the Strength LR Vegito, uh, Vegito Blue. But if you want uh, damage output, you're probably going to run the Technique one. Um, over here we have the Super Vegito, both of them link for three link skills, so it's either Super Saiyan prepared for battle, fierce battle between the two of them, or, yeah, between the two of them, so it's not bad, um, again, when you're running the Patara category between these two, it's really gonna be situational, damage output, if you're not going up against a strength team, definitely him, um, but this guy definitely has better damage reduction, so if you're getting attacked a lot, you definitely want those counters with the 80% damage reduction, uh, so again, these two are interchangeable, I did that when I was talking about my, um, the blue stone choices uh next choices are going to be the two roses three key total i'm doing three link skills actually but for for this three link skills are more because there's not, not not anything more than four other than this guy um so between the two of them they both are going to be pretty damn decent um 25 attack buff and two key 25 attack buff and two key i believe that's what this one is yep um, and then you also have the LR Rose and Zamasu if you're lucky enough to have them. 15% flat out legendary power, 5,000 and 2 key. And then these two guys on the bottom, this one is a support unit, the, the basic Vegito, which is going to give him fierce battle, prepare for battle, so 3 key and 15%. Uh, and the, the Goku Black, which is Kamehameha, prepare for battle and fierce battle. Um, not the most amazing link buddies in the game, but he definitely has some decent ones. Remember, you have those mono intelligence units that you can run as well. 
Um, for Majin Buu Saga category, actually he doesn't have that many at all. Uh, four or more, you're gonna have the Go Tanks over here. Um, so you have this Go Tanks and the Strength Go Tanks, Super Saiyan Saiyan lineage, prepared for battle, fierce battle. That's 25% and three key. I believe he is the strength one, the same thing. 25% and three key. And you also have this Super Saiyan 2 Goku Angel, which is key plus five, attack plus 12,000 is third attacker in turn. You're almost never gonna run him, but he does link for two key, 25% attack and 2,500 flat out buff. Um, that's pretty much everyone. You can drop this down. We can, we can drop this down to three. I just think there was a lot. I don't want to talk about all of them. Yeah, there's a lot for three or more over here for the Majin Buu Saga category. So you do have a lot of other choices. So we're just going to stick with the four or more for now. Um, and then when we talk about team building, um, honestly, this is the choices that we're going to have. And we're kind of already said it when I was talking about the, the actual Patara category. Um, I know a lot of people have talked about how Patara category has better units. I don't think they have better units at all. I think personally, the only thing that sets this, uh, the LR... Goku and Vegeta versus their angel counterparts is that the intelligence team, in my opinion, has better units. So if you're running a mono intelligence in there, or you're throwing with one or two of mono intelligence, you're going to have better options than the Batara categories. But again, that's just my opinion. I don't know. I, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll look through the Reddit and scour the Reddit to see if someone did the math. I'm definitely not new in the math. I apologize. Um, I am definitely going to find someone to see if they have done the math. But if they've done the math, we'll go ahead and check that out. Um, these are going to be the guys that I would say primary rotation is going to be LR Go of Goku and Vegeta with either Super Gogeta or Super Vegito, the agility one, um, or the, well, okay, uh, let me also pre-state this. I believe I put in the units that I would personally run if I had them. Um, you don't need them, but these are going to be the ones that I want to suggest to you. Um, Super Vegito Blue, um, Technique one, or the Agility Super Vegito. You couldn't change him out for the physical one. The only thing I have to say is, looking at the Patara category, Patara category really doesn't have that many. I think this is the only Agility for Patara category at TUR or higher. Um, so I threw him in there for the Agility just because. Um, you have the Tech Vegito over here for support. Um, the bottom or the other primary rotation that you're going to have over here is LR Rose and Zamasu if you have them. Um, and then you have either Rose, the Strength Rose, or the Zemerge Zamasu, depending on who you have. And those are going to be your next uh, next rotation. And I also threw in Pandel over there. You can throw anyone you want. She's just a good buffer for everyone here. And since they link de decently, I figured let me throw her in there. Then on the other part of the rotation, you're going to have the TUR, well, the other LR friend, Goku and Vegeta, unless they obviously your friend has better stats, then you keep your, your primary unit on the ro off rotation. Um, that's gonna be my choices guys though thank you for joining me here today i hope that was helpful and informative um that is the team building guide best linking buddy guide i figure you guys already know about the team building guide just because there's not a lot of units and the units that you would normally choose are going to be the best ones anyway but uh yeah that's it thank you for joining me here today i hope make sure to subscribe if you're new and i hope that helped you all out catch you in the comments